Hey guys, it's Eric with Show Up. We're back to bring you the ultimate audition 2020. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna break this down into a couple of different sections. Just follow along like you always do. And then I'm gonna make sure that I give you some tips and some things to look for and be sensitive to, uh, to help you perform for your teacher the best of your ability. So we're gonna start with a couple of dates in the beginning of the song that we always just wanna know that you're moving and you're alive and you're listening, right? So move around a little bit and then uh, you're gonna hit the beat on one. So we're gonna step to our right side and we're gonna bring our shoulders right, left, right, left, right, left, and then ball change right, left, take your weight out to it, left foot behind, turn around, I'm gonna step out to my right foot and cross, left foot and cross, and with that, we're gonna add an arm, we go right foot and snap, right in front of me, left foot and snap, and to finish this eight count, we go back on our right foot, we do a little jump, Pull and lean forward, slide backwards, it goes in a circle, catch it on the one. Cool, so now we're gonna go through all that movement um, in some time, and just uh, give you some more notes about uh, how to look nice doing this move, in all of these moves. So we go right and right, heart weight down, left and left, stay grounded into the floor, heels on the ground. Ball change, heart goes out, left foot behind, Weight, keep your focus forward, flip. We're gonna step out, long, strong leg, left, pull it through, left, right, left, back, I'm just brushing off my legs. Pop, nice clean fist, kinda cross at your wrists up here. Passe in your leg, which means my toe is pointing down, connected to my knee or your calf if you can't pull it up. And then we're gonna pull forward, so switching to jazz hands. And then I'm gonna slide back on my left foot, long leg, circle, catch. Everything's real strong. Okay, here in a little bit of timing. Five, six, seven to the right. We go well, right, left, right, left, right, left. Ball change, step, turn, eight. One and two, three and four, back. Five, jump, six, pull, seven, push, eight, hit, one. And that's the first two eights. So we're gonna keep moving on with this traditional movement section. Boom. So we hit one, hold two, step right, step left, and then we're gonna drop to the right, drop. I'm gonna step on my right foot, dragging, pop. So a little hop there, nice big jazz hand up top. And then we're gonna step on our left foot, pull it in, plie. Goes around a little circle, bring my left foot back, step my right foot forward, Look over your left shoulder, and then come back around to the right. In the second eight count here, uh, we're gonna make sure that we start nice and clean, straight legs, straight body, Whew. chin up, feeling good, smiling a little bit, you know. Um, and we're gonna step right, left. So my chug with my arms is gonna match right, left, right, left. And then everything comes down. So let gravity pull you down to the ground on a dime. So it goes one, a three, five, super fast. Seven is the start of this move. Eight's the button. One, two, three, four, look. And then, so the look is sharp here, and then a casual back, seven, eight. Seven, eight, and I step right, left, turn back around. So let's do that one in time. So we're up, six, seven, this is one, two, a three, four, five, six, start it, hit it, one. Two, three, four, sharp, casual back. Okay, moving on to the next section with some more groovy kind of traditional show choir stuff. So we're going to the right, and we just turned around, look, turn, seven, eight. So land nice and clean here, sets us up for the next move. We're gonna rock to the right fists, rock back, rock, jump, punch down, a windmill step to the left, a windmill step to the right, Coming forward with my left foot, what's up? Back, what's up? And your hands can kind of be, I always do it different. And then kickball change, left, left, step behind, right, step behind. So some tips for success in this part. We wanna go from ultra clean to groovy, ultra clean to plie, clean, plie, together, 
forward, take your heart with you, forward, take your heart with you. And my legs always come back nice and clean. And then we're, we're gonna go forward, forward, and then we do um, that last kickball change, kick. So I'm gonna lead and extend through my body. We don't wanna be Muppets, right? So we're gonna make sure that we're nice and broad with our kicks, strong, powerful legs. Kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change. We're gonna use the legs the whole time. So let's move through that section with some timing. Five, six, to the right goes groove. Two, step, clean. Five, six, seven, eight, four, one, two, three, four, and a kick, ball, change. So, good job. So now we're gonna move on to the next part, uh, which switches the energy a little bit. So this is more traditional show choir stuff, and now we're going into a section designed to help you work on your lines and make sure that everything we're giving to the audience is easily digested and nice and clear, right? So in this next part, just, uh, again, pay attention and, and we'll keep moving through it. So we just did kick, ball, change, Kick, ball, change. I'm gonna step on my left, push through to a stab with a blade in my right hand. We're gonna pull it to make a nice big line all the way across. Stepping left, it goes circle, circle, tilt. So feet together, tilt, same time. I'm gonna land my hands into a diagonal, and then I'm gonna switch the diagonal. Now I'm gonna jump, put my feet together, hands switch to jazz hands, and I'm gonna do a little catch down here. So the next part's a little bit tricky. I'm gonna take my right hand. It goes from fist to jazz hand kind of over my left arm, over, and then it's gonna to swing to the right, and as it comes up, right when it lands, boom, I'm gonna drop that left hand. So it goes swing through, pop, swing through, pop, swing through, pop. You're gonna be the master here. All right, so plie. And then my feet, while we're doing that, are just going out. So I'm gonna jump, it goes out, in. Seven, out, in, yeah. So big jazz hands, nice clean, clean to the front. We're gonna step to the right, we go blades to my hat, and then I'm gonna kind of do a little reset step to the left, and push my weight over through the whole shoulder instead of going flat, flat. We wanna pull with our guts, belly button points to the side, push down with my arm. And I'm gonna use this push down as a transition move so my weight keeps going to the left side. I'm gonna pot of array, step my right foot behind. Right foot behind, left foot open, step. And then left foot behind, right foot open, step. Pas de bourre, pas de bourre. Yeah. French, try to spell it. Um, okay. Here we go, uh, let's do all that section with some movement and keep breaking it down. So we just did um, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change. I'm gonna go stab, pull it, circle and land, click, switch, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. You're gonna have to go through that one a couple of times. With the, when is it a blade? When is it a jazz hand? When is it a fist? Be very clear. Um, great, but that's that section for lines and, and, and being clear with that. The next thing we're moving on to is the masculine section versus the feminine section. So a lot of groups kind of have bicameral vision, right? So we're going to go in to make two different move sets. You can follow the masculine if you feel like that suits you better, or you can follow the feminine if you feel like that suits you better. Um, so we're going to start with the masculine. So we just did pas de boule. And I'm gonna step uh, with my right foot forward, but first I'm gonna passe up, look back, boom, land forward. And in these kind of masculine postures, we wanna feel through the center more, my heart is up, right? Ooh. You wanna feel a little bit like taller and broader. So my weight's through the middle, even though I'm forward, so I'm pretty, pretty centered here. So we're looking forward, we're gonna hold that shape. I'm gonna uh, jump back, my hands go out, and then open and across. My chin stays low when I land, and then I do a little pop. It's like, sup. Show up without how is sup, All right? Um, so we go sup, and then we're gonna do some punches. So I'm gonna do double punch, step left, double punch down over my right knee, 
right over my left knee, left punch straight out, right punch straight out. There's a little contraction in that shape. And a hoop, and a hoop, and a hoop. Down, and a down, and a out, and a out. And on the last one, when I put my left foot down, I go cross, and then I go to the right, open, kind of go through that move. Once my weight goes into my left foot, I'm gonna go scuff, and it's just kind of a fake little skip. <laughs> so I go skip, and I get very like strong, and like my, my posture is like kind of puffed up, right? Okay, now we're gonna go through that section with some timing. So we start on the pot de before that goes five. So we're on five, six, seven, and eight. Look, one, two, three, hit four, four, land five, six, chin, seven, eight, punch, one, punch, two, punch, three, punch, four, cross, five, six, scuff, seven, eight. And you wanna land like kind of flat and heavy right there. So, good job. So now we're moving on to the feminine section. So right before that, we did the same thing as the other section where we did pas de re, pull, back, punch, and drop. So this part's gonna push my weight over to the right, boom. I'm gonna do a little wrap around my head, boom. And then I look back, and then I'm gonna plie to my left. My hands go down, down, and I grab and bring that foot in. And then we're gonna go switch my knee and pull my hands to the back of my head switch my knee and my hands come down to my shoulders. And I'm gonna step out with my right foot, flick, step, west side story, step it. We're gonna look over the hand on the hip. It's like, hey, yeah, right there. Look with the hand on the hip. We're gonna do a roll, chin, chest, hips, and then push it back up. And on that last one, you wanna stick the toe right into that last even beat. And then we're just gonna flip into a pose. And you can come around in whatever femme posture you want, right? So feminine postures are gonna be a little more curvy and have more like kind of shape to it. Versus the men, which is really boxy and like kind of strong on, on a center point. Um, so let's do the latest part with uh, um, some time. Yeah. So we just pop it right five. Five, six, seven, and eight. This is one. Look, two, three, grab four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, pop. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're moving on to the final part of the audition dance. So we just, everyone just hit their eight coming back to the front. The guys were a little more neutral, and girls, you can be a little bit playful in your shapes and, and, and pick some stuff that makes you feel good, right? Um, so we hit that shape, boom, seven, eight. And uh, we're gonna, this is like a fun groove section. The design of this is to show your expression and, and perform, right? It's really about performance. So it's not terribly hard to so just kind of follow along here. We're going to the left touch, to the right touch, we're gonna go left and a right and a left touch. Forward right foot, forward left foot. Then we're gonna step, pop, pop, step, pop, pop, step, and then jump and turn. And you'll hear it in the track, it goes boom, ga ga, boom, ga ga, boom, ha. And you're just gonna flip around right on that part. So boom, we turn around. We're gonna, sl we're gonna slide to the right, and your hands can throw. This is totally free land. Left, slide, land. And we're gonna push it away with some fists. We push it away with some fists. I'm gonna ball change, ball change and point down. That part kind of evens us out, right? That's like the grounded moment. Everything has kind of been free and grooving around. We feel grounded. We're gonna hit elbow, point. I'm bending my knee with that. Pop, pop, step, drop. And that's the end. And I hope you keep moving after you stick that. One, or yeah, clap. Clap, boom, go, and then keep going and dancing because you're artists and musicians and dancers and performers and, and singers and, and pianists and gymnasts and basketball players and all of those things are movers, right? So we want to be listening to the music and, and be expressive with our movement. All right, you guys, we're going to go through this last section here with some timing. Follow me and feel good doing it. Five, six, 
seven, eight, we're going one, one, a three, and a five, six to the left, and a one, hands are whatever, and a two, da da, doom, da da, step, turn, and a slide, two, three, and drop it, five, six, seven, and an eight, push it back, two, push it back, two, ball change, and a ye, and a hot ta, woo, and then hey, and you feel it, and you're dancing, and you holler back, and then, Hey, that's it, right? We're dancing with movers, feels good. Um, so thanks for dancing with me here. We're gonna do everything from the top uh, with some music, and uh, good luck.